Hello everyone, my name is Hector Mendoza. I have a video out there that shows you how to create your uh, box, bow, uh, you know, bay windows. So now I'm going to show you how to create the roofs for this stuff. Okay, so these are some of the roofs. Now there's a million ways of doing this. I, I got some uh, easy ways that you can uh, learn how to do this. But hopefully, what I will do today will help you a little bit. So let's 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 get to it. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm I'm gonna go to my uh, level two, and I'm gonna duplicate everything here. Okay. So control. C, control V, and I'm going to move this thing over this way. Uh, that way I, I don't mess with uh, what I already have. So th this is what it's looking like right now. You see, I'm going to create those in this area here. Okay, so there's a lot of tricks that you can use to achieve uh, yeah, what you want to do. So <clears throat> first, let's start with bay windows excuse me bay roofs so normally what most people do is they would go in here go to roof they would go to custom and then bay roof okay now you see if you hit you know, shift, tap, tap, tap. I'm going counterclockwise. That's why I'm holding my shift key when I'm hitting my tap uh, key. Okay, now, if you place this guy right on top, then, you know, uh, it would actually work with a bay window. Okay, so let's uh, hit 3D, show all. Okay, so now, Right now, let, let me. Uh, well, I, I got I got that bay window. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. I, I I I right now I have it in this level, right? And uh, I was just showing you how uh, you're gonna see me use this layer a lot, and and I'll explain later. But for right now, uh, so I'm gonna hit Control X. I'm gonna go to my this is my here. I, I don't need that layer, so let's delete that layer, and I'm gonna rename this layer. Okay, so I'm just gonna call it roofs. Okay, now, so now I could go in here in my roof layer, uh, hit Control V, and place this guy right in here, and that would be pretty close to what you need. But there are a couple of things you need to keep in mind. So I'm gonna hit three. So I can go to 3D. I'm gonna hit all, uh, view all layers, right? Now, you see, that is higher than this bay window. Okay, so watch. All you have to do is move this guy over a little bit until you can click on top of the roof. You see this little pyramid looking uh, icon? You're gonna click on that. You get right in the middle of it. You hold your left click. Uh, yeah, left click. Hold it down. Then, if you move up and down with your mouse, you can go in until you see that bay window start. You see right there how it's starting to come up through the roof. So you just kind of go up a little bit until you no longer see that. So now this is what it looks like, right? So. That's if you had a bay window that was exactly to the size. In other words, let's say that you went in and you hit uh, window and you hit bay window and um, and you just slap that in there. So you see, it's, it's the same size. Okay. Now, what if well, on bay windows, this is simple to fix. Let so let, let, let's uh, let me show you something. 
So let me delete those. Okay. Oh, I'm wrong key. Okay, so let's delete those. Let's say that you had a bay window. Um, let me move this box to the right. Let's say you had a bay window that was this size. Okay, and let's make the window uh, control C, control V, paste that guy in there. Okay, so now you have this right here, right? <clears throat> so when you're creating a bay window and you need to create a roof with it, it's really not that hard to modify. And I always modify it here because I can snap to it and see it a lot better than like if I go to my roof, you see there's a ghosted uh, of my background of, you know, uh, of level two. Uh, <clears throat> and it's hard to see it once you start building it. But in, an, in another thing, so let, let me show you something here. So let's go to level two. If I went in and I tried to create a bay roof, I would go here. Then I would go to custom bay roof. Now, the default of the bay roof is always going vertical. Okay. Now, so let's say that I rotate this. I'm going to counter clock rotate. So I'm going to hit my shift key, tab, 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 tab. Oop. Let go of my shift key, hit tab. Okay. So um, I could actually set that guy right here, right? And then what I would do is I would snap the inside of my uh, uh, bay window to that right there. And that would fix that. <clears throat> Okay, so, um, so those particular ones are easy to uh, to fix. Okay, so <clears throat> while I'm here, let me show you something. When you're trying to select your roof from your bay windows, it's real hard to select what you're trying to uh, select, right? So watch this. You see how I'm hovering around the bay roof? If I hit my space bar. So I have to, you gotta see this um, red triangle. You hover right on top of there. If you hit your space bar, you can move this out of the way. That way, now it's easy to select the window or the roof you see because when they're real close together it's real hard to select so i thought i'd show you that now i got videos on all of that stuff on how to rotate but we're not going to get into that <clears throat> but in this case it's real easy so of course you would go you, you know you'd, you'd cut that go to your roof hit control v and then you'd put it in the position that you want and then, of course, you would have F3, all uh, layers, click right here, and push this guy down. Okay, so that's easy. The problem is when you start working on the fan roofs. This is a fan roof, and this is a fan roof. Okay, so let me, let me show you the problems that you would have doing that. <clears throat> So let's say okay, so I'm gonna get I'm gonna get a fan roof, right? So let's go in here, go to roof. We're gonna go custom. This time we're gonna hit fan roof. Now watch. I'm gonna enlarge this area. I'm gonna shift rotate. I'm gonna clockwise and <clears throat> Technically, that would work, but I, uh, I'm more, more anal than that. And, and let me explain what I'm talking about. So,
to really make this thing perfect. You see this line here? This line should be parallel, you know, straight going in. This line right here should be going straight in. So the roof is really not, you know, if I was building this, this is not how it would look. And uh, this is what I'm talking about. Watch. <clears throat> I'm going to go in here. You see this little uh, um, diamond, red diamond? I'm going to hover it around it. I'm going to hold my shift key. And I'm going to move this guy until you, right in the inside, there's a little square here, uh, uh, a plus sign. Let, let, let me let me show you what I did. You see right in here, there is a, a, a plus sign, right? So watch this. This line technically should be right in line with that. Okay, so... Now, I know, guys, this is being anal as you know what, but uh, this is just how I roll. So let me show you. So I'm going to hold my shift key while, while I'm hovering on top of that red diamond. I'm going to move this guy over right here and line it line up, I'm trying to keep it all lined up. Now, you see right here? There should be something going from here to here, and there's not, right? So what you do is you first let, I'm going to line up all these other ones first, and, I, and I'll explain. Uh, the reason this is uh, has to do with mathematical uh, equations, but watch. I'm going to go right here. I'm going to line this guy up right here. Okay, I'm going to go down here. This one is already lined up. Now, well, no, it's not. So here, you see that little plus sign should be right in the middle of that. So there we go. Now, this is at an angle, right? So what I need to do is hold my shift key, get this one, and straighten that guy up right there. That way it'll be straight, and I can do the same thing here. Now, that's really being nameless. Get go. Okay, so... Now I have those areas, but what about these things right here? So let me let me show you what I'm talking about, okay? Um, so I'm gonna hit 3D. I'm gonna show all the layers. I'm gonna come down here and watch. You see right here? That's lined up there, but right in here, you see, it's not. You see right there? You see right there? Well, it's because the room is actually going down here. So, you know, right now, if you go into your properties, you have a 12-inch uh, overhang eave. Well, this is your overhang right here, right? And that little uh, plus sign is where your room is. So, you only got six inches there. And same thing here. So, the way you fix that is you would click here now what you want to do is hover right here where this uh, white square is you're gonna hit V for vertex you're gonna click there okay you're gonna release your mouse you're gonna hold your shift key then you're gonna left click while you're holding your shift key and then you see you see that little uh, plus sign you see how I'm putting the tip of it right there now when I release it created an additional line you see this one doesn't have it right we're gonna do the same thing I click on the F 50 of that facet I'm gonna click right here so that I know where because it's, it's hard to hit vertex and, and get it right in the center between here and here but if you click here you know that between here and here that's the center of this area and you want to grab this thing so i'm gonna <clears throat> hover right there i'm gonna hit v for vertex i'm gonna click 
I'm going to release everything, hold my shift key. Click. While I'm holding my shift key, I'm going to left click. And you see the inside of my roof? I'm lining it up right there. Now, now, if you go to 3D, show all. And let's lower that guy a little bit because he's too high, right? So let's uh, click here. And you're going to find that uh, pyramid looking icon. Go down until you start seeing the, the roof, you know, come out of the roof. Okay, now if we go up here, you see now in this corner, this is the corner of this little. Uh, wall this thing is lined up there that one's lined up there now you have a much better roof more accurate uh i've been doing this for i've only been doing this for six years as a as a contractor but uh no, excuse me as an adjuster as a contractor i've been doing this for a while not exactly me just uh uh building homes so <clears throat> so that's how you do that and now <clears throat> so when we drew this it was easy to draw because this room is a the size room of the actual uh, uh, fan roof so let's get into <clears throat> drawing one that is larger. And now I'm going to show you the problems that you're going to have there. That's This is a simple one. Now let's get into the hard stuff. So let's go ahead and delete this guy here. And I'm, I'm going to get my, uh, my, my wall back. <clears throat> this time I am going to make this guy this big. And uh, I want a fan roof right here not just that but i want that fan roof to go from here up to let's say three feet from here up so how do you do that let me show you uh, i always show people the uh why you can't do something okay so i don't need this model uh now let's leave it there because uh there's other stuff i want to show you on the roof okay so <clears throat> so now so if i go in and uh, go to roofs uh, roofs okay, and go to fan roof right now if I hit um, shift, tab, 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 and I click from the left side to try to click and drag to create a, um, a room side to side. If I click and drag, look what happens, nothing. I'm left clicking just like I did before. Now, if I release it, then it drops that fan roof, right? So this is what you got to do. <clears throat> what I always do is I grab the room that I'm going to need to make the uh, bay roof or fan roof or whatever I want to create. I'm going to hit Control C. I'm going to hit Control V. I'm going to tab, tab, tab because this is the wall that I want to put that uh, fan roof. Okay, now. <clears throat> Now I'm going to go to roof. I'm going to go custom and hit fan roof. Now, if you want this fan roof to work properly, you have to, you see, in this fan roof, you have two exterior uh, like walls, right? One of them is in it's dotted lines and the other one's a solid line. The solid line is your actual inside of the room 
and from there to the exterior is your, you know, your soffit. Okay, so, um, <clears throat> so watch this. So I have to click, and actually this thing will snap. No, it won't. Sorry about that. Okay, so I have to grab this guy and hold it right there, right? Now I'm going to left click. I'm going to go and then I'm going to move this out. And then, you know, you're going to determine how far you want to go depends on, uh, you know, depends on the, uh, uh, what is it called? The, uh, the depth of that uh, bay window. So what's this? So I'll go all the way to the end of, of that uh, room. Now I'm going to go until I decide how far I want to go up this way, right? Now look look at my mouse. Look where it's at, way in the center of the, of the canvas. That's why <clears throat> now with my left and right key, I'm going to show you how I navigate. You see I'm using my left key. I brought that thing all the way to the left because of my experience that I have. I knew that my mouse was going to be way down here. So when I'm using the room for what I consider an FPO for position only to navigate, uh, to allow me to uh, draw the, the um, fan roof, then I get to where I want to go. And if I left, release my mouse <clears throat> it it puts this fan fan uh, uh, roof down right okay now here, here's here's the the, the thing <clears throat> here I got a little tweaking to do okay so this guy you would go out just a hair because you want this to be right inside here okay same thing down here see right here you want it like right in the center now that that right there would be the easiest way to create that so now watch this i'm gonna click here i'm gonna move it out of the way i don't need this no more right so now I click here and then I would grab that uh, red diamond I hold my shift tab Oop, not too far and then I would place him right here okay so now um, what you're seeing here is a roof that was there before so I'm gonna delete all those roofs now let's go to 3d show all and <clears throat> there's no bay, bay window there but <clears throat> i was just showing you how to create a bay window to that size okay so um <clears throat> so what you would do here, let, let, let's go ahead and remove that, and we're going to create a, a bay, bay window so we can slap that guy in there. So let's go and go to window. Actually, it's going to be a uh, <clears throat> bow. I'm going to hit. Now, uh, this is not going to work good bec uh, because uh, shift, tap, tap. I'm going to lay it down, click here, hit tap, 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 tap. See, and I teach how to create these things because watch what happens. If I move this guy over, you see how that doesn't work. I, I have a I have a video that shows you how to create all of these bay windows, but that's not what this uh, video is about. So <clears throat> I just wanted to show you how you can um, create these different kinds of roofs. Um, so let me go back and, uh, we're, now we're going to create something different. Here, I'm going to leave that there. 
Um, so let's say, let's say that you needed to create um, this guy down here. Okay, let's say you wanted to create that. Oh, I already showed you how to create that. Never mind. Um, <clears throat> let's say you want to create this right here. Is going to be basically the same thing. So let me show you. <clears throat> the first thing I do is I would uh, I copy and paste this same box right here because I need to find this angle here. I'm going to hit Control C, Control V, and hit Tab, 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 and then uh, let me delete that window. Oops. Okay, so let's go ahead and delete that guy. Hmm, my delete button's not working. Here, delete. Oh, yeah, you got to hit the right button. W. Okay, I'm going to delete the wall. I'm going to go in here and snap this right there to the end. Okay, so to create a round circle like this, <clears throat> it's the same thing as creating that... Uh, bow roof right except except that um, you would have to go in here <clears throat> same thing that we did before right so what's this you're just gonna have to create more points to make it real smooth right so what's this I'm gonna go in here go to roof I'm gonna go in here and custom I'm going to go bay, excuse me, fan roof. And remember, I'm going to use the inside, the solid line to line up to the outside of that uh, two by four on the upper left hand corner. I'm going to click, go down and do the same thing to the outside. And you see that line, that that line right there, the, uh, the inside right line, I want to line it up right there because that's where my soffit would start and I'm just going to release it right there. Okay, now, <clears throat> so here, before I even start adding all these points, I want to go ahead and kind of, you, you see this is my roof here. Here, here, same thing here. You see my room. I'm gonna move this thing. I'm gonna hold my, hit my space bar, move it down. That way I can always select here. I'm gonna do the same thing to my F because uh, my fan will when hit space bar, move it out of the way because it is in uh, that F. This F5 will interfere. Okay, so let me show you what I would do to create a nice looking uh, round roof. Okay. So, <clears throat> and cause you remember, our concern is getting the exact right uh, square footage. Okay, so you see this little area here that should be lined up right there. You see this guy right here should be lined up right in this corner. Same thing here and so on. And then, so you see how it goes like this and it's not get, it's not close to this inside circle. We're going to fix all of that. <clears throat> so if I click on my F2, I, okay, so there's a lot of things. That it's real hard for me to explain because my mind is working 100 miles an hour because there's 100 little things you have to keep track of. And so one of them is from here to here. Use this alignment. You want to keep that aligned because mathematically this thing is uh, created according to the size and the width and depth. And you don't want to make it ob oblong. Okay, so watch this. I'm, I'm hovering right here to this first uh, 
red diamond, right? Which is a vertex. I'm going to hold my shift key. And I am going to move this guy. Look, and you see, I, I'm, you see right here, I'm lining this thing up right here. So you see that, that little, I'm, look at the inside of what I'm moving around. See right here, I'm going from here to here. Okay, I'm going to release. Now, this one here, so I'm going to hit F4. Okay, so same thing here. I'm going to click here. I'm going to left click, hold my shift key, and I want to move this down. And look, I, I keep an alignment from down here with my right side. So I move this right inside that circle. Okay. Now, <clears throat> this sounds like a lot of work. And it's taking a long time because I'm explaining everything. Because if I do not explain everything to y'all, you can't just watch me and do it. Because there's no way that you're going to understand uh, the importance of, you know, like holding your shift key, clicking here, moving this guy, and aligning it up. That's why it's taking such a long time. But this, this don't take no time at all. Okay, it, it's real fast. It's just, I'm talking a lot. <clears throat> I don't talk when I'm doing this, when I'm in the field. So I'm going to click my roof. Same thing here. Watch this. I'm going to hit my shift key, and I'm aligning it this way, moving it down. Now, okay, now we're about to make this thing look like a circle. Okay, so <clears throat> I'm going to add lines to this roof and the way you do that is by using vertex and you've already seen me do it but I'm going to explain it again I'm going to click on F for roof I want to create a vertex in between here and here and the exact center of this area is this little white box so I hover around here I'm going to hit my V for vertex I'm going to left click, I'm going to release, I'm going to hold my shift key, and then I'm going to move this guy up. Okay, now look, now this and this are starting to line up. You see how that doesn't look lined up? So now we're going to hit that F1. Okay, I'm going to hover, I'm going to V for vertex. I'm going to click, release, hold my shift key, uh, click, and move this thing up right there, okay, and release. See, look, look, it's looking real smooth now. Now, we got F5. You see, that's the only one that looks, that doesn't look straight, right? Same thing. Hover around that white box. I am going to hit V for vertex. You see how that white disappears? That's why I keep that mouse right there. I'm going to left click to create a vertex. And right now, I've released everything. I'm going to hold my shift key. I'm going to left click and hold. And then, then I'm moving that guy right there this remember I'm, I'm doing the center part and there you go now you got yourself a pretty nice looking uh fan roof that will go around a uh a, a you know a round arch wall so then you can actually just hit control x or hit uh Delete, Control X to cut, come down here, go to your room, you hit Control V, then you just hit Shift, Tab, 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 and line that, that uh, the inside, and now you got yourself a fan roof going around a, a, a round 
<clears throat> arch wall. Okay, now I'm gonna hit uh, 3D. I'm gonna, oh, it was, let's, excuse me. Let's go back and let's cut this guy. Control X, go to my roof, hit Control V, then you line those line, uh, lines, hit three for show, uh, three for 3D, show all, go right here, you know, enlarge, find that, it's that little uh, pyramid looking icon until you start seeing some of the roof, just go up just a hair. And now you have yourself a uh, nice looking little uh, roof. Three, show all, move. And, and if you look right in here, you'll see everything fits real nice. And <clears throat> so when you're out there, so let's say if this was a, um, a um, copper roof, or a metal roof no, those seams are probably going to look like this right here now, you know they might have less seams you know you if they do then they're really not doing justice because that's not how i would have built it because let me show you what i'm talking about no i'm not even going to show you because it's not even the correct way to doing things okay so <clears throat> i showed you how to do round i think that's basically all I wanted to show you on this video now that's the end of this lesson and all you got to do is just practice and practice and practice and what I showed you takes seconds to do I'm telling you this is real simple little stuff here uh, I got some other stuff that's real hard but this is some of the simple stuff I have a uh, over 85 videos out there that shows you how to do all kinds of stuff but one more thing I'm going to tell you about this <clears throat> There is a way, there is a way to create a lot of this stuff. Uh, so, here, uh, here, let me delete this. I'm going to go in here and I'm going to remove everything. Let's say that you're building just one room and it had a fan roof or let's say it had a... Uh, a box room or anything okay so what's this you can create the room and the roof all at one time unfortunately there's a lot of well i'm not going to go through that i'm going to create another video but let me show you that way maybe you might be interested in watching my other video but i'll show you this and then i'm going to stop this watch this i'm going to go to roof i'm going to go um no, excuse me. Uh, let's go to rooms. Oh, God. What am I thinking? Windows, bay with roofs. Okay. So let's click and drag and make it to the size we want, right? Let me show you what you just created. 3D. Boom. Every, there's the windows. And I'm going to explain and show you a bunch of tricks with this. This is a lesson within itself. So that's all on this video, guys. Uh, subscribe to me because I got a bunch of videos and there's there's tricks that you're not seeing here that I might not even be conveying because in my mind there's a lot of things going on because you have to hold click line uh, I try to explain everything but if you watch my videos you're gonna get other tricks you know, tricks for, for kids, you silly rabbit, and you can learn it all right here. <laughs> okay, so uh, you'll see another another video on that. Thanks for watching my video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. And we one of these days, we'll, I'll see you out there in the field. Uh, my name's Hector Mendoza, and I'll see you next time. Bye.